Kathy Hazen planned to travel to Spain with her family last June. She booked the trip in the summer of 2019. But come April 2020, those plans changed. I received an email from the airline because I had already paid for the flights that they were canceling all the flights into Europe and they were giving me a full refund. She thought getting a refund from Airbnb would be just as easy. It wasn't. They said they would they could refund part of it, but not all of it because the host keeps some of the money. With seven hundred and seventy two dollars still on the table, Kathy contacted the host directly. They said they have no money. They don't get the money until people check in. The host went on to tell her you requested the full refund. We accepted it and Airbnb should have proceeded with the refund. Going back to Airbnb proved to be no help. They said, well, there's nothing they could do because um, it wasn't within their guidelines, their pandemic guidelines. The policy stated the host's cancellation policy will apply as usual for reservations booked for May 31st or later. Remember, Kathy was supposed to travel in June and the host told her he'd issued the full refund. As hard as I tried, no matter what I did, I was just blocked at every turn. So she wrote to NBC10 Responds. We asked the company for its understanding of the situation, and the same day, Kathy received this email saying in part, I do see that your hosts have opted to refund you the funds that were due to them, and you are requesting a refund of the service fee on these reservations. Airbnb apologized for the difficulty and sent Kathy the refund of $772 calling it a courtesy. You've got one grateful viewer here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. For NBC10 Responds, Tracy Davidson, NBC10 News. So we asked Airbnb why it decided to issue Kathy's refund after we got involved, but we did not get a response. The company updated its COVID policy in October, extending the COVID policy to allow full refunds for customers with bookings made on or before March 14th, 2020. Now, according to Kathy, Airbnb told her she did not qualify for the updated policy since she canceled her trip when the older policy was still in place.